These are the seven things that the letter contained that Nancy Pelosi sent out. So how will the Republicans address stronger workplace safety laws? How will the Republicans handle tax credits for working families? How will the Republicans handle child care assistance? How will the Republicans handle state and local government funding? That's number four. Number five is how will the Republicans plan to safely reopen schools? Number six is extended unemployment benefits, FPUC and all of that. And then finally, seven is whether the Republicans will accept the Democratic strategy for testing, tracing and treatments. These are the seven things that the letter contained that Nancy Pelosi sent out. But everything still held up. What's going on, man? <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. So what's up, y'all? Uh, this is the Stimulus Check Update. I hope your day is going excellent up until now. Earlier today, Stephen is chewing gum and Nancy is chewing gum too. Uh, you know, they reunited their talks about the language and uh, the language of the bill, you know, the stimulus proposition. Uh, the Democrats have been waiting on the White House approval of the language modifications given that earlier recently. We likewise heard from former Trump consultant that he thinks the stock market is down because of Nancy on the 100 probability that a stimulus deal being passed prior to the election is not going to occur, he also says. And then we likewise have information straight from President Trump's mouth that an enormous stimulus will be coming very soon. I mean, isn't that isn't that, though, you know, advantageous to him to actually say that now, you know, because maybe he can sort of bluff his way in and then we'll see what happens. American people, you're just going to have to see what happens. The only one that's winning are, are these politicians. You know, what's in it for the American people? They take your money out your check as you're working years and years and that money's supposed to be put aside for situations like this when the economy comes to a halt that money now can be used to bail you out as the american people but uh on another note those are just a few of the subjects that you know we actually gonna cover today but before we get started you know make sure you subscribe to this channel it absolutely helps out a lot uh when you hit that like button it allows the algorithm to show us some love hit the notification bell as well now do you believe that Congress should get out there to pass this bill before the election and send you your money, your stimulus checks? You know, should they pass it and then proceed? Um, you know, the stimulus talks have actually come to a halt once again, as the negotiations appear to have actually stalled in between the House Speaker and the White House administration. And chances of Congress striking a deal before the November election, you know, um, greatly reduced this week. You know, after Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi were, you know, not able to agree on the, you know, the screen, the infection screening language in the stimulus proposition. You know, a previous Trump consultant, Gary Cohen, you know, believes that the stock exchange Wall Street has been decreasing for the past five days because of that one fact. Since he thinks there is a 100 percent likelihood that a stimulus deal, you know, passed prior to the election would actually turn the whole stock market around. Can you believe this, folks? He said, you know, I think now that with, you know, eight days to the election, seven days to the election, depending on when you listen to this, no one believes that we're going to have a fiscal stimulus up until after the election, you know, um, is actually just horrible. I mean, the Senate is now leaving Washington to return home to their home states and campaign like they're going to get the job again. Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi, you know, spoke on Monday for about an hour. Like I said, 53 minutes. Check out my video, 53 minutes. You know, they couldn't even spend a whole hour on the uh, <laughs> virtually an hour, but not a whole hour on the American people. It's just funny, you know, a way, you know, the two sides continue to blame each other on who's responsible for the latest stall. I mean, uh, you know, you know, today, President Trump was talking to the White House press reporters and he targeted Pelosi for looking for bailouts for states and cities run. You know, I mean, Democrats. You know, by the Democrats, you know, Trump believes that Nancy Pelosi is only interested in bailing out terribly run crime ridden Democrat cities and states. And, uh, you know, she is not interested in assisting the American people. And because of that, he does not believe Pelosi will, in fact, be around a lot longer. You know, so these two, they just taking shots at each other, Pelosi and Donald Trump. He believes that they will actually reclaim the House very soon. And President Trump went on to state that after the election, 
we will get the best stimulus package out that you've ever seen once again so you know y'all keep in mind how trump has specified various you know times how he wants a much larger stimulus package than the democrats want and he has restated numerous times to the republicans that and you know they need to go huge or go home statements like that that he does on uh twitter you know and it got support recently from lindsey graham down in down in uh georgia and near south carolina and, and you know that he actually is aligned um lindsey graham stated that he's aligned likewise you know this week when they had a georgia press conference a debate on the local stations down there now we we sure hope that he stands by his word as well down in georgia you know if uh the republicans do reclaim the, the senate you know what does that mean what do you guys think i mean the house that would eventually you know provide him complimentary reign to do so whatever he desires in regards to a uh, second stimulus package so at this point it appears that the settlement talks will be on shortly after the election but will we know who actually won the election after uh, after it's done you know the few states that are allowing you know for mail-in ballots to be accepted of course those have to be counted and uh you know all of these promises about after the election will the stimulus you know but the american people are waiting and leave down in the comments what you think all right and this is your stimulus check update for today and we'll see you in the next video